Today's main ingredient is easily found on supermarket shelves. There are tons of varieties. It is packed with nutrition and it is affordable. I am of course talking about the humble potato. There's so much more we can do with it than just make french fries. Let's cook. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes for under $2 a plate. We're gonna start with some potato pancakes. They're delicious, they're good, hot or cold, and you can make them ahead of time. I'm using russet potatoes. They're really starchy. They do very, very well in fryy situations. Box grater, potato. W-E-R-K. I'm hip with the kids. It's very important that you grate into a bowl with a tea towel because water is the enemy of anything that is fried. And this enables us to squeeze the water out. Sono pronto per la patata. Carrot. Carrot's really nice because it adds sweetness and apparently it makes your vision better. I'm just looking for a sturdy vegetable here. This could be a parsnip. You could use beets. If all you have are potatoes, just use the potatoes. That's fine. After all, it is a potato pancake. Onion. It is now time to grate the onion. I was always taught in school to wear protection when grating onion. Okay. Gee, this box grater really gives me a lot of bang for my buck. Look at all the things I can shred with it. Let's squeeze the water out. And I like to spin. Yes. If you're looking for something to do with this water, I recommend that you sell it to a wellness blogger who's trying to get their 10,000 steps in today in downtown Santa Monica for approximately $13.50. It is a really great way to maximize the value. It'll basically pay for all your latkes and more. I think I need a helmet. Here we go. Oh yes. Put some tribes in there. Chives. Some pepper. Salt. Potatoes really can take a lot of salt, guys, so go for it. Eggy weggy. And a little bit of flour to give us even more dryness, binding, and crispy bits when we pan fry these. Now with the fork, we wanna just make sure that we get this egg everywhere all around because that is our glue. If we don't have glue, this is gonna fall apart. Glue keeps things together. The more you know. Some oil. A little push. My rec is that you cook these like 70% on one side. Really get them dark and brown and solidified and then flip them. Scraggly bits start getting an indication of what's happening underneath. In the meantime. Wellness fuel? Got your wellness fuel? Some call this the fountain of youth. Swift and deliberate. Boop. It's very important to get a leg up. Boop. Ooh, I know which one I want. One. That one! These are gonna hang out in a nice warm oven, like 200 degrees. They're already cooked. I'm just trying to keep them warm. And in the meantime, we'll make our... Apple compote topping. This is gonna give us sweetness and deliciousness on top of every single potato pancake. And we start with packet drawer butter, which goes directly into the pan. Start cooking down those onions. A little bit of salt to help sweat them out. In the meantime, we're gonna peel these apples. So I peeled the apples because I really want this to cook down and be super duper soft. And skin, skin doesn't really help you do that. I'm looking for all the pieces to be the exact same size so that they cook evenly. Apples in. That is the sound of a topping that is made with love. Time. Just pull the opposite way. They will come from the stem. A little bit of pepper, a little more salt and some cinnamon, also known as tree bark. That is gonna cook down, and in order to make this a complete and balanced meal that your parents would be proud of, it is time to prepare our side salad. Salad, scallion, 46 degree angle. Lemon time. And don't forget the zest. There's so much flavor that would otherwise be thrown away. Got some lemon zest here. A little bit of Dijon mustard. This is important in a dressing because it helps keep the oil and the water, aka the lemon, together. Olive oil. Salt. A little bit of packet drawer. Honey. Some pepper. And let's put in the arugula, scallions. Now if you make your salad dressing in a big bowl, you won't have to dirty multiple items and you can sort of just toss from the bottom up. Plate time. Potato pancakes, AKA latkes, out. How about a little sour cream surprise? One latka, two latka, 
that one. That was a reference to earlier. All right, here comes the apple onion compote topping. Oh, baby. And a little bit of side salad to make your parents proud. So for the low price of $1.43, we've got potato pancakes with a sweet and savory apple onion topping and an arugula side salad with a honey mustard dressing. It is a complete meal. It is delicious. Hell yeah. Mmm. I don't know what more you can do with $1.43. It's a real bargain if you put your hands to work in the kitchen. But I've got two more things we can make with potato. There is no time to lose. To the potato cave. <laughs> now we're gonna make a potato leek soup. And I'm using Yukon Golds. They're a little bit waxier, meaning that they hold their shape, which means that we're gonna have a chunky soup. And we come in with bacon. Now let's work on our leek. We're just gonna use the white part. It's very important that you clean your leeks because they grow underground and dirt gets in there and they're dirty from the inside out. Clean your leeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean your leeks. This is four chopped leeks. When we soak them in water, the dirt sinks to the bottom, the leeks rise to the top. It's almost as if it's doing all the work for you. Clean your leeks. Give the bacon a stir. Yukon Gold Potato. This is waxy, like a candle. It stays together. Use the waxiness to your advantage and cut them in such a manner that they will remain chunky. The bacon is looking beautiful. Let's pull it out, put it on some paper towels so that it gets extra crispy and we can have a wonderful textural topping. Now we're gonna cook the leeks in this bacon grease. Do try to drain it. This is exciting. Get some garlic, put it right in there with the leeks. Salt. The leeks have softened. Now it is time to assemble the rest of the soup, starting with our waxy and fantastic Yukon Golds, which will remain robust and plump throughout the cooking process. Here, we've got thyme. Throw that in. Salt, be generous. Pepper, got some water here. Drop the stock! Our soup has come to a boil. It's time to lower the heat and put the top on. We're gonna give this about 15 or 20 minutes because after all, the potatoes need to cook through. We are gonna make some little bread crostini slices. Now, you might think it's fancy and pretentious to cut the bread on an angle, but it actually gives you more surface area on which you can spread butter and other delicious accoutrements. Some black pepper and some parmigiano reggiano. Skip adding salt because this is your salt. 425 degrees for three minutes. Look at how crispy and wonderful. Boom! It is time for a delicious chunky potato soup. And what I have right here is a struggle pot holder. You can see the potatoes have held together quite beautifully. Mm mm mm. Wonderful oniony smell. Crispy bacon bits on top. Toasty. Two. $1.99, Yukon Gold, and leek soup with bacon. Look at that. Hot and delicious. Are you gonna eat me? No, you should eat me. I have a very good background. But I have been to the finest school. Everybody's turning into French, I don't know why. <sighs> ah. Ah. It is now time to try another potato varietal. You know what the Spanish are good at? Making potato and egg omelets that they affectionately call tortilla. It's thick, kind of like a frittata, but way better in my opinion. You can eat it hot or cold. And we are gonna use red potatoes, which are another variety of waxy potato that holds shape really well. Go for thin slices. One cup of extra virgin olive oil. So yes, this is indulgent in the extra virgin olive oil, but the potatoes cost pennies. Onion, slice them as thinly as you can so they cook quickly. Forgot to use protection. All right, let's use some parsley. Just a rough chop. Remember, potatoes can take a lot of salt, so do it. Put some pepper too, what the hell. Eggs are what bring this all together. A lot of stuff in there and it is big. Mix up those eggs. A little salt, a little pepper, and the cooking starts now. So be deliberate and be swift. Okay. And quickly start doing this. This is how you ensure that the inside is cooked. And now we go back in. 
you'll see it'll start to cook on the outside. And if you bring that cooked bit in, you're help cooking the center. So I'm gonna let that cook for a second, but I'm not going anywhere and I'm not getting distracted because all of a sudden it's gonna be ready and I need to be there at a moment's notice, which is why I'm staying right here. See what I'm doing? Do the same thing. You're gonna see at a certain point that it starts solidifying and you can just kinda come around the side and make sure that your eggs are free. See that? You can see the middle is still raw. And this is where the Italians with their famous frittata stick the whole thing in the oven, assuming you have an oven safe pan, which we do not. <clears throat> so we're gonna take the route of the Spaniards, which is a little bit more exciting. It requires a flip. What you need to do is find something. This could be a plate, okay? You need to find something bigger than the pan. And what you're gonna do is lift and flip. Find that zero G moment at the top. If you just do this, it could be a disaster. Like this. You go, whoop, boom. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, boom. So we lift, now you just slide it back in. You wanna make this plump. So what you've gotta do now is sort of just shape it. After about five to eight minutes on this side, you just lay it out. I think this is the perfect time to put some delicious cured ham on top. While your tortilla is hot, if you lay your ham on top, the heat will just melt it ever so slightly. Here we go. I'm very excited about this. El momento has arrived. Here we go. This is $2. Look at that completely translucent fat. All right, sort of Spanish omelet with gently warmed prosciutto San Daniele. This dish is absolutely delicious and it's unlike any other omelet that you've ever had because in this dish, the potato is the star of the show. That's what today was all about, making the potato shine. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's nutritionally dense and incredibly affordable. It fills your belly, but we did it in ways other than making French fries. You wanna exercise your mind, so make latkes. Make tortillas, make potato soup, use that brain, and use the potato. Struggle on.